I play Chambers and Chambers is Brendan's muscle, basically. So uh, I'm on call to kind of do the jobs that he doesn't want to do. So I'm an enforcer. Basically, no one would hire me, so I put myself in the show. No, uh, basically, uh, I'm friends with Justin, the director and writer. So we've known each other for, for several years. And um, we actually live very close to together. And we're good friends. And he came to me one time with this script, and I just kind of fell in love with it, really. It was very different to what Justin does. I mean, he's done a lot of comedies and dramas. And this was really dark and gritty, just the kind of stuff that I like. Um, and, I, you know, I wasn't expecting it. And I just kind of, we just got together and was like, well, let's... Let's try and make this. You know, my last film was 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 very uh, very. It was a it was a gritty kind of thriller, um, and I wanted to do something again. I really enjoyed it, so yeah, we kind of got it off the ground, and here we are. The darkness, if I'm honest, I I, I like those kind of stories. They're the kind of movies that I want to watch. It's real, you know. Uh, that world kind of fascinates me a little bit. So, um, that was the. That was one of the reasons, but I th like I say, I think the fact that Justin is such a nice kind of guy, very, very kind of calm and collected, and the fact that he'd written something so chaotic, and I know he's a good director, so I thought, well, this is really going to be interesting, you know, there's going to be something really unique in making this, this film, and I think he's going to do a really good job, so it just excited me, so I thought, well, you know, let's go for it. It's a lot of work logistically. It's it's a massive operation. Even though it is, you know, it's relatively low budget. It's still, I still just need, need as many staff. We just don't have as, as much money, you know. So you really have to kind of get as much as you can out for every kind of pound you spend. And um, I'm very lucky though because I surround myself with very smart people. So there's no way one person can take all this on. So I get a really good, you know, uh, crew together. It's not just me producing as well. It's my wife. You know, she works, um, she's one of the kind of the founders of the production company, Achilles. Um, and Justin also is, is a producer as well. He's produced, you know, some really good films. So uh, you bring that experience together, you bring all these collective ideas, and eventually you, 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 you find your, your way. You've just got to break it down in stages as well. So you tackle one problem at a time, and then you get to principal photography, and then off you go, you know, and again, that's when we pass it on to, you know, your first ADs, your line producers, although they've been involved early on as well, but they take charge and we just kind of sit back and, and I, I'm, you know, I just act, you know, I just come in now and I, not I say just act, it's important, but I can just focus on the acting and let the other people do their job, you know. I really enjoy it. It's, it's a lot of work, I'm not going to lie, and I do find it very difficult to switch off. Um when I'm actually acting and producing. Um, it's not for everyone, you know what I mean? But uh, I, I'm very lucky, again, my wife is, um, we, we have this relationship, you know, once we're here and I'm, I'm, I'm doing the, the, the acting work, I shut up, you know what I mean? And she does her thing. So I do have to catch myself getting involved, uh, but I've been very lucky on this one, you know, I, you know I've got a, a good meaty role that I can really kind of focus on and it needs me to focus on it really. It will it'll hinder the performance if I'm off doing other things. So um, it's been, it's been, if I'm honest, it's been quite easy for me, you know, transition wise into the acting work. So yeah, it's been not too bad. It was great, you know, when we went to see the location, when we did a recce up there, it was, it was just perfect. You know, we had access to the entire place, you know, like um, it just brings, from an acting perspective, it brings a, a level of authenticity. Like I don't have to pretend I'm in a prison. I'm in a prison and I actually stayed over there, you know, at nighttime. So I felt kind of contained. And again, that helps. It always helps. And it's an experience as well. You know, I, you know, touch wood or whatever. I've, I've never been in prison. So that was an experience, you know, if I ever need to do that, you know, as, as in play a prisoner or whatever. I've, I've been there. And from a filming perspective, it's, it's stunning, isn't it? You know, like doing something like that, you know, it's, I know as an audience, I would want to see that. I, I'm interested in that, so yeah. It's a crime kind of redemption movie. Um, it's, it, like I say, it's very gritty, it's very dark. There's a lot of action, you know what I mean? Um, a lot of violence. Um, and I, I like those, again, it's those kind of movies I'm interested in. Because uh, it's real, it's not glamorized or anything like that. It's it's 
you know this really this kind of stuff really happens um and yeah i think that's it really it's there you know there's, there's something for everyone as always i try to kind of make films that way but uh yeah that's what i would say well yeah loads just constantly your challenges yeah it's there's never not a challenge you know as a producer you're constantly putting out fires so but that's the fun part, you know? Like I actually thrive in those. That sounds really kind of wanky. Uh, not thrive, but like w when those challenges are, ha are happening, I actually kind of enjoy it because I'm growing from it, you know? So th I'm, you know, this is only my third film as producer, so there's so many things I don't know. So when there is a new obstacle that we've got to get over, I've learned something then, you know? So I, I enjoy those kind of challenges. But yeah, it's and it's like once the film's made, you know, you got to get out there and get it seen. Uh, it's a never-ending challenge, but it's so worth it once you see it on a screen. And you can sit back and you can see, you know, you see an audience kind of you know, watch the movie. It's 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 worth it all, you know. So I know what movies do to me. So if I can create something that does the same for an audience, then I've done my job, you know. So.